Hello everyone, welcome back to All the Mods Gravitas. So, I am currently in the midst of making an iron anvil. Because I feel like that's something we're gonna need. Almost there as well, I just need these ones. There you go, I skipped all the boring parts for you. And now, iron anvil, yeah. Uh, do we even need these these ones anymore? I don't think we do, and I think we can... I wonder if I can remove... Yeah, I'll just remove that for now. I think what we can do is mount these back down, if I'm, if I'm looking at it correctly. And if I pick this one back up, for example. Yeah, mounts down into 14, so we can... Maybe mount it all back down. That'd be kind of cool. We got a um, an iron one, so we can do some... Uh, has that got no fuel? Yeah, good. Yeah, we can make ourselves an iron pickaxe, because mining with this is such a pain in the bum. Also, I don't know about you, but I forgot I had this one here. This is my oldest placed one, right there. Uh, where is it? Over here. Yeah, there you go. That goes all the way down to a uh, big iron area that I completely forgot I had a waystone here for. I think it was on like the other screen, you know, where you, you like, um, ah, there you go, some right there. I did mine out a huge section of this, but there's loads left. Look at that. Yeah, I, I thought I'd, uh, I'd removed this waystone a while back, but because it was on like the next screen, when you click next in waystones, I just didn't know where it was, so uh, yeah, that was a bit of a bummer because I spent ages looking for iron a couple of episodes back when I could have just come here. And because we know a lot more about like the supports and stuff, yeah, that was a bit of a bit of a poop. But it's fine. We got loads of iron out of that, and in fact, let's pop out here. How are you doing? It's three months left. Awesome. Uh, yeah, over here. This is nearly done. This has got rich iron in it, so we're going to get eight out of this. But we currently have six. And I think... How do I make a iron pickaxe head? It's just an iron. So a single iron. And apparently, I don't know if this is like... Eh, come back. I want to... Do one of those, there we go. I'll stick one in there. Maybe I make an axe as well. Oh, we definitely need to make a pro pick, don't we? Okay, let's put another one in there. So pro pick again is just one iron. But we need to get them up to can work. I think that's how that works. Ooh, we could do with a hammer as well. Raw iron hammer, okay. Three go in there. <laughs> And maybe an axe, but I think these two I'm happy to just keep how they are. I think a hammer would be a really good one because these hammers, I had to make like 15 of them to do all of the stuff I needed to do for this. So the really nice thing about iron is it doesn't like melt down. Like at all. In in these ones at least. So if I stick that in... Oh, I need the flux. Oh, I've got it on me. Nice. Let's put that in our hand. Lots of stuff. Flipping egg. Right. Let's do that one first. Um, it needs to end with a punch, a bend, and one of those. Okay. Oh, this is this is weird for me because... So... Punch, bend, draw. Got ya. Okay, so that's how it needs to go. Punch, bend, draw is the last ones we need. Oh no, it needs to be the other way around. So, draw, punch, bend. No, draw, bend, punch, flipping neck. Okay, so it has to go past this. And then you do one of these. And then a punch. That was wrong. Okay, so it needs to go draw, and then bend, and then punch. Got ya, so... If we go back quite a bit, oh no, yeah, draw, bend, punch, 
oh, and now it's not hot enough. Oh, and that ran out of fuel. Okay, I'm gonna have to like try and figure out how to make these. I've got the cheat sheet open, actually. Let's have a look at that. So you do punch, 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 draw, bend, punch. Is that from the beginning? Uh, oh, I didn't put any oh, poop. Eh, there you go. Uh, these are rotten now. Excellent. I've been trying to keep all of my my food so they last a little bit, but oh, that one lasts like years. Oh, it's melons. That's why. Carrots. Let's get some spud. I think spud would be a good one to have. There we go. Right. So this one is going back up. This one's already been worked. But at least we know what we're working towards with this one. I should probably have started with the hammer. The hammer would have been a better idea. Because it means I don't have to keep doing this. And grabbing a stick. And what I'm doing is, uh, I'm not putting it in the anvil. I'm not putting it here. I'm just keeping it in my in my hand. Because you can use it from whatever your hand you've got. So if I was over here, it wouldn't work. But because I've got it in the hand, all good. Uh, can work. So punch, punch, punch. Draw. Uh, bend, punch. Draw. And then bend, punch, is it? Yeah, bend, punch. So we need to be this far away from over, like, on the other side. Does that make sense? So that's a hard... Oh, okay. Hard hit. Oh, no, because we got the draw that we need as well. Okay, draw, bend, punch. I'm so confused with this. Oh, I did it perfectly. Perfectly forged. There we go. I did that with the hammer right there. Um, I didn't give up on the, uh, there you are, I just wanted a hammer, so a good hammer. I didn't give up on this one, I am going to continue to try and work on this. It's just really mind-boggling <laughs> to me. So we do a draw, and then that should be over here. So draw takes us that far away. Okay, so we need to be further up. Let's do... So we need to be this far on this side. Okay, I think I understand. Okay, now let's try this. Oh, we're so close. Okay, let's try this. Damn it, I'm a punch off if I do that. Draw, bend, punch. There it is. Poorly forged. Excellent. Now we can cast this back down, I think. In fact, if I use this one here. What were we going to use this one for? I've completely forgotten already. Oh yeah, pro pick. So this one's the, almost the same. Uh, what does it say on the thingy over here? So we need a bend. No, that's not a pro pick. What, that's the hoe. Where's the pro pick? Right there. Okay, so punch, punch, punch. Draw, bend, punch. Draw, bend, punch. Okay, so we need to get it like over. Um, It's not possible to give the full pattern from the start because the position of the red marker. Okay, got ya. So if we get it on there first. Oh, it's, it's not hot enough. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I might not use it and melt it back down. I might do the same with this. And once we, once we know
Okay. Okay, okay. I think I figured out how you do this then. So the the guide that they give you in uh what is it? Jufferman's Juffa? Yeah, Jufferman's.net. That that smithing guide. Basically what it's telling you to do is get to the marker somehow, and then you do the, the recipe that they've told you on there. I just got really lucky, I think, when I made the hammer. Anyway, right. That is now, we've got definitely got a better pro pick, which is always good. And we got a poorly forged... Oh, that's a point. Do we just reforge this? I think we do. How are we doing on charcoal? Let's stick one more in, and then I'll forge this one up. Stick that in there. I'm going to try it again. Okay, this is how far I can get it. Just the, the, yeah, I did that perfectly first time. But now I need to get the, the, you know, thingy. So it's punch, punch, punch. Uh, draw, bend, punch. Perfectly forged. <laughs> That's what I wanted to see. Oh, love it. Okay, so now we've got a perfectly forged iron pickaxe. Wrought iron pickaxe. Excellent. I forgot that we had achievements, as, or advancements, sorry, advancements. I might have to make a grill. I'm happy to do that. Okay, now it wants us to make knight in shining armor, create a set of, flipping out, a full set of wrought iron armor, a sword, and a shield. And then this one here wants us to make a, a double cheat shield. I think we can make that. Let's, let's have a look. Okay, that's just, oh, that one's easy enough. We could do that. Plus, if I take one of these, due to a recent update, I need to go drink, but due to a recent update, we can take this out. Let's stick a torch down for now. We can put this on here. And the... What? That's not at all what I expected to see. I didn't think you could make these. In fact, if I do copper plate, oh, you can still make it in, in there. Interesting. I swear, I swear, was I looking at this completely wrong? One of these you use on this thing and then... Has that changed again? I'm so confused. It was a double sheet before. Double sheet. Oh, you can only do it like this now. I swear this was a double sheet before. Okay, well, whatevs. Um, <laughs> I might have just wasted a plate. What can I use this for? Ah, okay. They've swapped it back to be copper plates. So the one time that I wanted to... Like, I didn't check the recipe. Because I knew it had changed. It, it changed back. Excellent. That's, that's completely my fault. I should have looked into that. Let's, uh, let's get get over here. Get in bed. Uh-oh. It has started to freeze over. Are we going back into winter? This one's, this one's frozen already. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, I forgot that you... Yeah, don't punch them when they're not lit. Otherwise, you don't get them back. Uh, okay. Well, at least the, the sheepies are getting there with them. <laughs> that takes quite a while. Um, you know what this episode is going to be about, though? It's got to be about power. So we are going to make, uh, from immersive, kinetic dynamo. Kinetic dynamo, one of these bad boys. So we need two iron sheets. We need a bunch of copper. Oh, that needs a sheet as well. Did I just use all of my iron? I mean, technically... How do we make this back into... Oh, no. I didn't think about this. It mounts into cast iron. It doesn't mount into raw iron. Oh, dear. I don't think I can cast this back down, then. Yeah, because there's no way of getting cast iron and charcoal turns into. I wonder if I can just put this 
and one bit of charcoal in there. Do I, do I have any more charcoal? I think I've got some over here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's grab these and we'll make a little bit more. Ah, this is full up. That's my only way of getting rid of this stuff right now, is uh, by putting some planks in there. Otherwise, this won't work. There you go. Now it's going to start working because it's got a bit of space for the creosote oil. I might pump this out, in, as, as I was saying a while back. Pump it out into a big old tank. And that way, creosote doesn't fill up in this bad boy. But yeah. Our power. Power is going to be the name of the game today. So if I go to... There's a generator block. I don't exactly know what this one does. But I know that there's the thermoelectric. Issue with that is we need steel. And we haven't got steel yet. I would normally go for this straight away if I could. But I think this this one here is how we how we do it. And we can't get the engineer's blueprint. Ah, there we go. They've changed that one as well. I don't think there's any way of making aluminium still though. Unless they've changed it. Bauxite doesn't... It shouldn't. Yeah, I think it's still cryolite that we need. Uh, although, saying that, I haven't looked since they've updated stuff. Yes, I think it is. Because you need uh, either the crushed... Or if you use this. Yeah, milling it turns it into redstone. And then... Got ya. Okay. Well, there's one of these. Let's let's try... Oh, has this got a... Oh, it's got a bloom already. Look at that. Wow. Lovely. That's another eight iron, if we uh, have done that right. I wonder if this is going to work, though, if I do that and that. It flipping does as well. That's pretty pretty awesome. Oh, cool. I just realised something. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Wait a minute. Okay, we got two in there. That's good. This is 280 right here. And then uh, if we have more of this... I'm confused. So how much would we get if we had 24 of... Wait, we can do the maths. 24 times 35. That is 840. So we actually lose... Yeah, we lose 40 millibuckets of iron if we were to put 24 of these in and 24 of the charcoal in. That's not much though, is it? 40 millibuckets. No, that doesn't... Yeah, okay. And then if we were to put in... Uh, where's the other ones? The normal stuff. That is 25, which is 600. So, you don't lose anything if you use the, the normal magnetite. The only thing that you kind of lose out of that is the fact that you have to use loads of charcoal. But we've got a decent way of making charcoal now, so never mind. Cool. Okay. Well, let's have a, have a go at these and see how we can make just a couple of sheets. I want to make some sheets out of this. Uh, is there any good way of doing it? I know the press will make these ones. Can we use these instead? Does not look like it. Okie dokie. Okay, how do you make that? You need the uh, the iron plates. Okay. Um. Ah. Oh. Yeah, we need four for this. For the iron mechanical component, right? I haven't bookmarked anything. I should start bookmarking everything. Uh, which is used... Oh, yeah. Oh, but we 100% we need an aluminium for that, so we need to find some cryolite. Poop. Okay. So this is the one I definitely need. So four of them. And then we need three iron for this. And then this also needs... 
Um, eight, so four copper sheets. Okay, I am going to make that right now because we have enough copper for that. And we don't quite have enough iron, but I've got those blooms in there that I can use. Also, was there some charcoal? Oh, there was some charcoal. Sweet. So we can use that. So, three of these, because... Ah, we've got it in our inventory. We've got that one there. So I can put three of these to get bonked. It appears to be overstressed. Why is it... You know why? Flipping water stopped, didn't it? Because the... Yeah... What? It's because this one was not... <laughs> uh, why? There we go. That was odd. Right, here we go. That is the iron plates we need. And... Okay, that one needs to be a copper sheet. So we need five copper sheets. Three iron sheets. Okay, we got this. We got this. So now we play the dangerous game of not letting this get too hot. Because if it gets to orange, it will just melt and it will go into the basin. We do not want that to happen. So I'm just going to watch this until it gets to can weld. And then we can turn them into sheets. Oh, I'm being silly. You need double ingots, don't you? Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, we could. That's That's fine. I'll just have to... I need to remove that, that option. I always press F. So if we go to controls, keybinds, F, swap to offhand, done. Right. We do have enough, so that'll be all of the iron we have. But I think that's fine. Uh, let's put these four in to begin with, and they'll get hot. Can you, can you just, not, like, not? Thanks. Can you not? Uh, I was trying it with this hammer, and I was like, okay, something's not working, because it was putting it in my offhand. Oh, this is dangerous work. And, of course, the raw iron sheets are also double ingots, so I need uh, a couple more of those. Right, we are outside. I've just... Oh, I need to eat food and stuff, but I've just uh, made everything we need. Eh, there we go. Raw iron. Oh, I forgot I need to hammer these down into uh, into wire. Uh, yeah, let's put some more charcoal in this, and I'll hammer these down. Cool, there's a lot of lot of work that goes into making one of these uh, one of these kinetic dynamos. I must admit. And then we also windmill. We can make this with. Uh, I need one more. Okay, I'll make another one of these uh, these raw iron sheets as well then. There we go. We got everything we need, I believe. Well, I hope. Is that not it? Am I doing this wrong? How do I... How do I make the spool of... Oh, it's just a thingy in the middle. In that case, did I even need this? Uh, let's have another count. So, well, first... Uh, yes, we needed that one anyway, so... Cool. Then for this... Ah, we needed it for the wires afterwards. Got yeah. So I need... Have I got a few sticks? No. This needs to go back in my... Back in my offhand. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let's just grab a bunch of sticks. I'm confused. Does it not like the regular sticks? Is that what that's saying? Oh, it's because I'm being silly. There we go. I realise I do need the wire as well, so... But yes, we can do that. And then I can grab the... Oh, I went and got loads of cinnabar as well. So we've got tons, tons of cinnabar. But we have made ourselves a kinetic dynamo. Amazing. Nice. Right, how do we make the windmill? So we need bunch of sticks. Luckily we've got a bunch of the... Uh, we needed loads of this, didn't we? 
Right, how many do we need to, before I make like a ton? So we need four sticks times eight. Okay, so we just need to put eight in here. Do one of, well, I could just do this. And then this and that. We got ourselves a windmill. This is power right now. We've got power. How cool is that? Amazing. Right. I do, re yeah, as I said, I realize we need to get power from this into stuff. And we also probably need to make something to power. Um, what is that? Wait. Thermal dynamics is in this. That's pipes right there. Thermal die. No, wait. What? Where, where's the pipes? Right here, fluid duct. I did not know these were in here. I've not played with um with fluid ducts and uh, the flux ducts and oh, there's no item duct. That's the one that I was looking for. Ow. Oh, food. You know something? I don't think the uh, immersive engineering ores have been removed, right? They must not have been because I cannot figure out any way of getting lead otherwise. Like raw lead, but that comes from the immersive engineering raw lead. And like... That, okay, there's a thermal lead as well. I'm confused. There might not be a way of getting lead right now because I know this is still in development. But I think what we should do is try and look for something that needs power, right? Because, wow, we, we, we've got power now, so we might as well use it for something. I was thinking the thermal machines. Uh, okay, so thermal expansion. I think the uh, redstone furnace is the only furnace we can make. And that is just some raw iron. But there's lead. Wait, what? Lead gear comes from lead gear. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's in yet. Yeah, and it's just lead gears all the way down. Interesting. That means that you're probably not supposed to get to this point yet. And they will update the recipes at some point. Otherwise, this is actually kind of obtainable. Yeah, because we can make this. Uh, I think, yeah, you have to make this unfired stuff. That, that should be fine. And then some mortar and we get some brick out of it. Okay, so that means that, yeah, all of these you can't really make right now. Yeah, because you can't even make the multi-servo because that requires the machine frame. Interesting, okay. I might go quickly and ask if anybody's actually found this lead yet or if I'm just being weird about it. Oh no, that is not the response I wanted to hear. Uh, yeah. Apparently the way that you get lead. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's in... Oh yeah, they have got all of them in here. First off, you need to make a bucket wheel. Actually, the first thing you need to do is make a core sampler. Uh, I don't know where that is. Where's the core sampler? Okay, maybe it'll be easier because we've got the, the petroleum mod in here. Portable generator. Oh, I didn't know this was a thing. Steel. Okay, we do, we can't do that yet. But, yeah, there's a, a... Oh, goodness, where is it? Well, that's to make all of that. One of these. So you need this thing. I know that. And then... This. The excavator. Yeah, the excavator. You need this. And, oh, okay, you don't need to have the book for this. That's good to see. These are all the things you need to get lead. Lead. That's, that's mental. There is a... I, I did just hear that there was a bug with the, uh, the lead cogs, which is fine. Uh, as I said, we're, we're nowhere near getting lead if that's the way that we have to get it, using the excavator. You also need like 4,000 FE to do anything with the excavator. Not sure we're going to get that from a, a little windmill setup we're going to have. So, uh, yeah, we are probably going to need a diesel generator as well, which is, again, a lot of stuff. Would you... Uh, I'm going to go over here. So, you, yeah, there you go. 
yeah, the diesel generator as well, which is lots of generator blocks, heavy heavy machine frames, which steel mechanical. You do get four, so it's not that bad. I mean, that's like five crafts of it. Okay, it's kind of bad, but you need some more of this steel sheet metal, which we can just do with pounding that down. Oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. How did you get over here? Eh. Oh, probably how I got over here. I'm probably jumping on that. Anyway, yeah. Um, that is how we're going to have to do it. The, the bucket wheel as well. So you need to, like, hook the excavator up with the bucket wheel. Uh, but, yeah, where's the core sampler? Core sampler, that's the one that we need to look into as well. So we need one of these. This will tell us what's in the chunk that we're in. So, is it F, F9? There is some way of getting the chunk boundaries to come up. F9. No. F7? No. F3G. There it is. That's what I was looking for. So, we can find out what's in this chunk, and then uh, we can find out what's in, like, a different chunk and so on like that with the core sampler. And then with the core sampler... That'll tell you what minerals are in the specific chunk that you place it in. And then the excavator, which is a huge machine, you take it over to that chunk and then it can mine up. So, for example, if we find one that's got lead in it, then we can take the excavator over there. We'll have to power it as well, so we'll have to take the power over there. Cool. It's a bit of a beast of a pack, this. I will admit. But anyway, I think I've waffled on a lot today. So what we're going to do is we're going to call it there. Uh, we do have power. So I might actually go set this up really quick. And then we'll be right back. There we go. We've got it. I, I put it up really high. Well, not really high, but a little high. Because, uh, yeah, I put some, uh, some ladders on this. But the higher it is, I think the better the power you get from it. And you do get power from no, uh, what do you call it? It's no sails on this, but you can add sails. Sails, I think it's windmill sails. Yeah, these things. Uh, but that's a lot of wool, which is fine because we have got sheep now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So six for each of these. And I think you can make eight. So what's six times eight? It's 48. So, yeah, we'll need 48 of these, which means half of that is 24 crafts of this. Crafts of the tough fiber. So, or tough fabric, sorry. So, 24 times that of wool cloth. That's a lot of wool that we're going to need. Luckily, we've got sheep now, so it's all good. Wow, yeah, it looks really cool up here as well. I do like that. We are going to go back down, but I'm going to call it there for today. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.